Welcome to another quick tutorial, this one on Cinema 4D. Uh, it's been a little while since we did one of these, so bear with me as I kind of jump back into showing you some things that uh, I've kind of learned quickly along the way. Um, the whole point of these is to keep them short. So let's jump into it. Uh, we're talking about how to rotate a texture in Cinema 4D. Um, something that seems really basic, but that actually turns out to be fairly complex if you don't exactly know what you're doing. But once you do it, then returns to being quite easy. So uh, we're just gonna create a cube here and I'll make it editable and I'm gonna be in my polygons mode. Um, I've got a couple pre-filled textures here. We'll get to those in a second. Um, no, we'll get to them right now. So I'm gonna take my brick wall texture, which I basically created by just going to create, create load material preset prime and then just use this brick wall one to create the texture. So I'm going to add it in here, and you're going to see, uh, well, you should see pretty quickly a brick wall there. Now, let's say we wanted to rotate that, or maybe this was a checkered pattern or something we wanted to um, have going in a different direction. Um, actually going into the coordinates here is pretty useless to you. You'll notice these don't do anything. Um, and same thing with going into the material itself or looking down here at rotation you're going to notice that these don't do anything so the easiest thing to do is just bring up your texture and under the color channel um, where you have your image if you're using a JPEG just creating a another layer clicking on that and then adding the transform effect and now um, I can do any sort of changes I want in here. I can quickly change the angle um, and see it react real time over here. I could do a mirror um, and change, you know, maybe I want to get rid of a blemish or have a different look to it or seed to it. Um, flipping it flips it uh, vertical. Um, and then we can also do all of our scale changes in here, making it smaller, making it larger, or uh, moving it around left or right, top, bottom, etc. So this is very beneficial for you, um, and a really quick way to make some adjustments to materials as they sit on your on your object. Um, same kind of thing with logos here. Uh, let's go in here and you know the orientation of your logo. Let's say. I did the same thing. I came in and I went to my transform channel. You could just zero this out and have it flat horizontal. If it was like we're making a shoe box or something, um, you know, we can quickly have it go vertical and do something like that. Um, so that's just a real quick tutorial. Obviously, you guys get how you could use this, but that's what I found to be the easiest way to rotate textures in Cinema 4D. Uh, so I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please subscribe and stay tuned.